It's time for some real education. René Francois Magritte was a Belgian artist who was born in 1898 and lived all the way till 1967. His work falls in the camp of surrealism, and he often depicted in his art ordinary objects in an unusual context, challenging the observer's preconditioned perceptions of reality. That. In 1964, he painted his what would become his most famous painting, The Son of Man, and it actually is one of the most famous paintings of the 20th century. Yeah, and here's the painting. I think you've all probably seen this. It has been so highly commercialized. It's one of those uh, works of art that is iconic uh, over and above its artistic merit. And Magritte, of course, was a, a, a very famous painter. This is, this is his Andy Warhol moment. This is his soup cans moment. Although I think Magritte was a much more serious arti uh, artist than Warhol ever was. It's actually painted as a self-portrait. And as uh, Magritte himself pointed out, uh, it, the, 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 the green apple, the Granny Smith apple, does not obscure his eyes. You can see him, if you get a little closer in, you can see uh, Magritte himself peering through the leaves at you. Uh, in fact, when he was asked to describe the painting himself, this is what he said. Um, at least it hides the, speaking of the apple, at least it hides the face partly well. So you have the apparent face, the apple, hiding the visible but hidden, the face of the person. It's something that happens constantly. Everything we see hides another thing. We always want to see what is hidden by what we see. There is an interest in that which is hidden and which the visible does not show us. This interest can take the form of a quite intense feeling, a sort of conflict, one might say, between the visible that is hidden and the visible that is present. Now, this painting has a lot of relevance in what Magritte just said about masking. You think about the masks that people wear and what kind of masks they're wearing and the new fashion vogue of masks. Now, apparently, there are fashionable and unfashionable ways to wear your mask. He does hit on some something of aspect, an aspect of human nature that uh, the surrealists in particular tried to draw out. Um, Marguerite painted, as I said, this is a self-portrait. Uh, it, it consists of a man in an overcoat and a bowler hat standing in front of a low wall beyond which the sea and a cloudy sky are visible. The man's face is largely obscured by this hovering green apple. However, the man's eyes do see through it. It's another subtle feature. Another interesting point that people don't know what to make of it. If you look at his left arm, Clearly, you see the elbow showing through. That arm has been twisted in an inverse way that it would anatomically actually fit. The title of the poem, of the painting, is also tease a tease, right? The son of man. There's lots of potential religious uh, implication in that as well. And to close this segment out, a little fact, a couple of interesting things. So, power, uh, so important, so uh, influential was this painting that it influenced a lot of other things. Uh, he used it again, Magritte, in his 1966 painting called Le Jeu de Mort, which was owned by Sir Paul McCartney. And that is what inspired the Beatles, that painting, that green apple in the painting, to name their record, record, record company Apple Corps. And Steve Jobs named Apple Apple after Magritte's painting as well.